This climate summit is ultimately about one thing, cutting greenhouse gases by enough to keep global warming to one and a half degrees. An uphill battle because emissions are still rising. The global economy chucks out 60 gigatons, that's 60 billion tons of carbon emissions a year. That's a combination of carbon dioxide, methane and other greenhouse gases. The bulk of these come, of course, from the world's biggest and dirtiest economies. Based on the latest data, China leads the polluter pack with around 12 gigatons, followed by the US at around half that. EU and coal-dependent India emit about the same, and fossil fuel exporting Russia behind them. The UK is just 1% of global emissions, half a gigaton of greenhouse gases, but our banks, businesses and imports account for much more. And you don't have to be the biggest polluter in the world to have big responsibilities at COP. Forested nations like Brazil store vast amounts of carbon, but only if they don't cut down their trees. The great news is, heading into the summit, 134 countries have promised to cut emissions to zero in the coming decades. In shades of green are all those that have put their plans into law or are saying they will. But in yellow, those with no net zero plan at all. Quite a lot of green. So where does that get us? Sadly, not that far. Here in the UK, we're aiming for net zero by 2050 and a 68% cut by 2030. The US promises to halve its emissions by 2030, both pretty much in line with where we need to go. But China, the biggest player, remember, is pledging only to peak its emissions in 2030, getting to zero in 2060. And Australia pledging net zero by 2050, but only committed to a 28% cut in the near term. But it's the near term that's important, because on current trends, we could be getting close to one and a half degrees as soon as 2030. So let's go back to the global emissions picture. To have a good chance of reaching two degrees of warming, annual emissions must fall by around 13 gigatons by 2030. To put us on a safe trajectory to one and a half degrees, it's estimated we need to halve emissions by 2030. And one and a half degrees matters because it's a tipping point beyond which sea level rise accelerates, weather extremes like cyclones, heat and rainfall become more frequent and intense. The scale of the challenge for COP26 is almost unimaginable, but the consequences of not taking it on, more unimaginable still.